Welcome, welcome and welcome back to the OK Grognard Show. It is Monday, September 13th, 2021, 10 a.m. Central, in beautiful Lake Geneva, Wisconsin. And today, we're going to talk about something that is not actually an old school product, but should appeal to some old school players, or perhaps will appeal to some old school players who would like to use something like this as a gift. Let's put it that way. How's that sound? We're talking about the D&D Dungeons and Dragons Monsters and Heroes of the Realms Coloring Book coloring book this was a uh, this was a UK item that I picked up I picked it up on eBay I actually got uh, a couple of them it's from 2016 originally and features mostly art from the three core fifth edition books in 2014 and line drawings from them and some maps by Dyson Logos. Well, we should say portions of maps by Dyson Logos because it takes some of the maps that he has out there available and trims away some of the portions of the maps let me say this is a uh, just being done for review purposes and right away I give it my thumbs up as a very cool little book like I say most of these illustrations came out of either the player's handbook or the dungeon master's guide or the monster manual from 2014 i think a couple of them are not in, not credited to any original uh, any other source so maybe they're original to this book i think there's one that's credited to dragon magazine number 405 Yep. Rary the Traitor versus Altaluk. Altaluk. So, that would probably be, yeah, this one here. And as you can see, they're pretty, they're pretty complex drawings, illustrations. As black and white and as uh, Chadwick press is the imprint that put this out here's the back cover I will read that Dungeons and Dragons has entertained fans from around the world with adventures and stories for more than 40 years 42 years in 2016 right during that time some of the most amazing fantasy artists on the planet have graced the pages of the books with their stunning illustrations. This collection is packed with black and white versions of many of their pieces for you to color and enjoy, as well as 16 pages of full-color originals for inspiration. That includes some large pages like this, and of course, my green screen won't do these justice because there's enough green or close to it to throw off the throw off the camera the back page let me read this top section here copyright 2016 wizards of the coast llc written by matt forbick and kirsty walters designed by garrett butterworth mark golden and ian upstone coloring illustrations by alexander volrigi Cartography by Dyson Logos. 
and it goes on to give the rest of the technical information as, as well as Hasbro Europe for the square Stockley Park Uxbridge Middlesex and all of that Hasbro Wizards wonderful info so you know tons of pictures at the back it's got these sections where they tell you each illustration what page it's on yeah I'll move it this way a little bit so you get the two pages and then you get the information from the page it's on title flying carbide on 68 William O'Connor artist first featured Dungeon Master's Guide 2014 69 title adventurers hijacking a nobleman's cart coach rather artist Eric Belial first featured Dungeon Master's Guide 2014 and as I say all of these are wonderful illustrations if you enjoy coloring and I know well they weren't invented during the period of the pandemic they were popularized adult coloring books I would probably say that given the given the amount of detail on these you might consider these this an adult coloring book although and, and though it might be challenging for a younger person I don't know what's wrong with challenging a younger person nothing so pick this up I think they'll love the illustrations for sure whether it's a halfling standing around looking haughty or a Tarrasque tearing up a town and again you can go to the back and get information like the page 48 heroes confront a Tarrasque artist Craig J Sparing first featured in Dungeon Master Guys 2014 and then 49 title Regis obviously the name of that halfling artist Randy Galagos first featured in the player's handbook 2014 again those are all fifth edition core books that uh, the vast majority of these come from there's a beholder eye tyrant image in here there are any number of dragons and adventuring parties so they would be fun for people that are part of a group to maybe pick out an adventuring party and create characters that are geared toward the illustrations maybe or you as a as a dungeon master could use some illustrations from this colored or otherwise to um, to uh, use as uh, handouts or illustrations to hold up during an adventure you could write an adventure around any number of these oh <laughs> there's uh, Sarah in the neat she asks you gonna color or collect no actually uh, I'm just gonna leave it as is enjoy the inspiration of it I'm not really uh, artistically inclined I won't be coloring it myself um, when I picked this up uh, on eBay I grabbed two of them there were two available from one particular seller so I was able to get a little price break on the uh, well, I think shipping was free so it was easy enough to have two shipped at once and I passed one on to Tom Wom as a birthday gift I thought he might enjoy the illustrations and who knows get a kick out of some of it uh, it's post his time at TSR slash Wizards but he loves good artwork Tom is no uh, no snob when it comes to uh, when it comes to artwork if he sees something he likes no matter 
what game or edition or where it's from. Uh, he is appreciative of the skill and expertise that goes into making such artwork. So I thought he'd enjoy it. And uh, I wanted to do a little show about it since I got two. And just say to people, you know, if you can find one on eBay or on Amazon or some other second secondary market site, go ahead and grab one. Pass one along to a, a younger player or to a uh, adult color colorist, somebody who's uh, trying to uh, up their game on coloring illustrations. Um, well, you can't share stuff like this if you wanted to scan these into your computer and learn how to technically color in the artwork yourself. I mean, think about all the time it takes to uh, to do all the uh, lighting effects on this dragon alone from the the light from the fire spreading across its neck and wings and chest, the dark of the front of the face that is uh, shielded from the light. You know, there's a lot going on in this, technically speaking, for uh, somebody who's learning to color illustrations. So I could imagine that uh, with the level of detail in these particular illustrations, it would be quite the exercise so I would say do that, enjoy them, have some fun. And uh, like I said, if you're, a, if you're a DM and you're looking for inspiration for an adventure, you could go through this and grab one of the adventuring party illustrations. They have a number of those with uh, four or five members. Pull it out, create one-shot pre-gen characters for an adventure. And, uh, you know, based off of the illustrations, it would be a nice way to start. You can use it colorized or not. Maybe pass it around the table with a box of uh, color pencils and let uh, one or more of the uh, players at your adventure that day do the coloring of the, uh, of the image. You could pick out a number of the monsters, the shots of the various creatures or uh, encounters that are some of the illustrations in this book and use those to fabricate some encounters for that adventuring party and create an entire one-shot adventure based around some of the illustrations in this book and have illustrations for the one-shot adventure to show to the players as you're playing. So it could be a very useful tool. In any event, um, that's about all I have to say about it. It's really wonderful. I would say uh, pick one up if you can get one. And, you know, there's still, I think, uh, under 20 bucks MSRP-wise. So $14.99 was the original U.S. MSRP on this book. So if you get it for $15 or under, you're not paying any more than you would have paid when it was 2016 and in print. Five years ago, obviously, you're not going to find a lot of these in the wild in regular MSRP situations. You might spot some at uh, half price books if you're in the U.S. in various places where they show up or... Uh, Maybe on the bookshelf at a thrift store or whatever, since it is secondhand at this point. But, uh, you know, if you can get one from an online reseller and you get it for 15 bucks or under, you're cutting yourself a deal and getting a pretty nifty book for your trouble. So, thanks, Sarah. Thanks to uh, everyone who's checking this out today. I got a bit of a late start, had some more technical issues. I hope I have them worked out finally this time. I keep saying that every week, but we got a, let, a late start this week, and uh, hopefully that won't keep happening, but we'll struggle on. 
we'll get the show done. We still managed to do that. So thanks again. This has been the OK Grognard Show. We've been checking out the D&D Monsters and Heroes of the Realms coloring book by way of review here. This wonderful Monday, September 13th in Lake Geneva. And uh, we try to stream the show every Monday at 10 a.m. Central. We stream it live on Twitch each Monday at 10 a.m. And it is then archived on YouTube. If you can, check us out live and jump into the chat and say hello. Follow us on Twitch if you're on here. If you're checking us out on YouTube, by all means, subscribe to the channel. Click the little bell so you'll get updates, notifications when new videos are uploaded. Give us a thumbs up on any videos you watch and enjoy. Please do make comments if you want to join in on the discussion or have some uh, constructive criticism for us to make the show better. That's always appreciated. This has been the OK Grognard Show from beautiful Lake Geneva, Wisconsin. Bye-bye.